Hi, I am IT PhD and today I'll tell you how to install Borland Turbo compiler old school Turbo C++ compiler first version so you could download it from this place from the museum or from internet arch archive so this link just google it and then uh, it's not easy to run it right away so first you need to download DOS box or some DOS emulator because this uh, compiler it's 16 bit so right now we use 64 bit windows or linux or 32 but not 16 so you can't run 16 bit applications so easily so how to start first you need to install uh, DOS box so it's a DOS emulator uh, then there is a config file for this DOS box so go right away go there to this config file because it's much will be much easier for you to work you could run DOS box and enter these commands manually like first you need to mount something to mount something you use this command mount and you mount a folder where you unzip your compiler so I have it in this folder so you mount mount it and then you could uh, go there but yeah with a config file you could do it automatically so you wouldn't need to do it every time so you see i just run the comp uh, the this file uh, those box and with my config it's automatically mounted it so let me switch so you will see everything closer so what we have here uh, we mount it we change to uh, our mounted disk he thinks that this folder he thinks that it's disk C okay so if you press dir you will see a list of the fold um, files in this place and we need to install first we need to install it so here we have uh, install dot exe let me find it to show you yeah install dot exe so it's what we want to execute install.exe we just execute it and then it's regular kind of regular installation which you have at your regular environment source drive which will be drive c and we will install it by default so just press enter several times here it's already also everything all right yeah so you need to press here f9 to start installation okay now you see uh, when it starts installation it uh, cre creates turbo c folder here so it wouldn't install a big mess you will still have your installation files here but it will go uh, to the next directory tc and it will put everything inside so let's wait for installation finish by the way there are a lot of different um, settings in this config file so you make you could increase your um, like cycles uh, cpu you make installation much faster so yeah if you want i just use sometimes those box for playing games old games like civilization one some other stuff so i have uh, these settings which is a little bit smaller but in this config file there are lots of different stuff so it's those box it's file function on uh, virtual machine okay so everything installed it suggests us to go through tutorial yeah you see there is a tutorial even so it's very quite advanced thing so yeah in this uh, in this folder now in turbo c we have regular stuff so like bin folder with a lot of uh, executable files some uh, includes with header files and it's kind of regular includes if you uh, can if you code in c you know like limit sage standard input output as doh let me show it yeah so it will be easier for you to see yeah, standard input output so all this stuff and uh, what we need to do now we need to run or uh, change folder we need cd like to change folder to uh, our bin ah no first cd to tc because we have folder tc yeah let me show it again 
Here we installed everything, now we need to change folder to tc, then to bin. cd to bin. Okay, we're inside. Now we need to run uh, tc.exe. And it's full functional IDE. Turbo C++ version 1.01. .1. <laughs> 30 years old, but uh, full functional and perfectly working. So here you could uh, write your code. So let me show you some tips, important tips. First of all, what you could do right on, you could make uh, it right, um, run right away. How to do so? Just edit this config file. In the end, add here cdtc, then um, cdbin, then run tc.exe. Save. Now, if you would run those box, it will immediately open you your ID, which is very nice. Now, uh, let's write a small hello world, as always. To do so, we include our favorite do.h. Then we make int main void. In old times it was written like this mostly, so let's make old school way. Not the right one, but okay, if we, if we use uh, turbo ball and So print f hello world and return zero. Okay, now we could save it, file save. And you could uh, like find change the name of the file, and if you will save it by default, it will save in your uh, root folder, like in bin. It's not really nice, but yeah, all right. So it's our file. Please take uh, a note. Important. Yeah, let, let's first execute it, so you will see how to compile it. It's actually very uh, understandable. You just press run here. Yeah, you could like make it. Make the file. Okay. Now it's done. Uh, you could just run it from here, but then you wouldn't see it. To see it, you need to like put some get chars here. Yeah. And now, if you will run it, you will see it. Yeah. You see, hello world, hello world. Beautiful. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I'll make some more videos uh, about C. So subscribe to my channel. Hope to see your comments. Have a good day. Bye bye.